Are you going to be a lion or a sheep? The king of the jungle or another insignificant number in the herd? A leader or a follower? Good morning, my plant based paisans. This is the plant father with another edition of Plant Based Mafia. And we are jumping right into Dr. Esselstyn's famous book, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. This is the final chapter. There are 15 chapters in the book about Dr. Esselstyn's studies and all the work that he's done over the last over two decades. The rest of the book are these really great recipes. So get out there and buy this book. Obviously, I'm not going to read you guys the recipes. It's an amazing book. And this book will save your life because the scientific evidence in this book will teach you how to not only arrest your heart disease, but it will also teach you how to reverse it. It will change your life dramatically. Since I started eating plant-based vegan and following Dr. Esselstyn's formula and his guide and taking his guidance and just do exactly what he tell his tells you to do. My life has changed significantly. I've lost close to 100 pounds. My energy's through the roof. I feel amazing. And I owe that all to this style of eating. And I'm not just talking about becoming a vegan. Vegan just means you don't eat cheese or meat. But you could be a very, very unhealthy vegan that has heart disease. I'm talking about taking on a plant-based lifestyle that's low-fat, that is low sugar, uh, you know, processed sugars and whatnot, uh, low oil, and eating an abundance of leafy greens, really, really delicious fruits, and whole grains. So that is what I'm talking about, and that is what I decided to do for myself. The evidence is there. If you spend your life eating an abundance of processed foods, fried foods, dairies, meat, animal proteins, etc., you are going to develop an illness, whether it be heart disease, cancer, diabetes, high cholesterol, your body's not gonna function. And there are some people that slip through, their genetic makeup is just amazing, but they still are not functioning at their peak. They're just not. And if you want peak performance out of your body, this is your, you know, it's your machine. You've been given it, you've been granted it, it's your temple. If you want your machine to function at its peak, you need to fuel it with the best possible fuel. And a plant-based nutrition is the absolute best nutri nutrition and fuel you could ever give your body. So I'm gonna jump into chapter 15, the final chapter. And this is actually uh, Anne Esselstein, who is Dr. Esselstein's wife, jumps in because she's actually the cook in Dr. Esselstein's life. She does all the cooking. She's a phenomenal cook. Her and her daughter have released an amazing cookbook. Go out and get it. But like I said, there's some really great recipes in this book too. So let's just jump right in. Chapter 15, advice from Anne Esselstein. At first, the changes you are about to make may seem overwhelming. After all, you will have to abandon the eating habits of a lifetime. And you almost surely will have to say goodbye to some beloved foods, which is true. But as we have learned from the long experience, a positive attitude creates miracles. Tastes change as you eliminate the fats. Before you know it, healthy foods will be not what you ought to, but what you want to eat. As time goes by, salads with oily dressings and pizzas thick with cheese just don't seem appealing anymore, which is true. Uh, I'm a... Uh, my own personal experiences can validate that and I was a huge food junkie I have a bad food addiction I still struggle with it to this day but I and I fight it every day the struggle is there every day but over time uh, I'm just not interested in those foods right now I used to drink tons of milk and dairy every day and I can't remember the last time I had milk and I'm just not interested in it. The cheese makes me sick now. And I do actually make delicious vegan pizza without cheese. It's just delicious sauce and vegetables, which I actually crave now. And I'm, I just feel so much better and I'm losing weight the way that I want to, very naturally healthy, 
my blood pressure is all the way down, my cholesterol is below 150 where it should be, my blood sugar is great. I never developed diabetes, even getting up to as much as 375 pounds, thankfully. I wasn't even borderline and I don't understand why, but I got lucky. So take it from me, if you put the time in 30, 40, 50, 60, 90 days, you know, We'll just say one to three months, those cravings are going to diminish for sure. So let's jump right back in. A handful of grapes or sweet grape tomatoes become just as much of a treat as a cookie once was. Pizza without cheese or whole grain bread topped with fresh sliced peaches may well become among your very favorite things to eat. As my husband already stressed, it is attention to details that make this program so powerful but some general principles underlie the details and it is important to understand them. Put simply, the totally plant-based diet contains a fat content in the range of nine to 10% of total calories consumed. None of it derived from added oils or from animal or dairy products. No cholesterol. A minimal amount of free radicals, those chemical substances are so harmful to the body and so prevalent in the typical Western diet. Many, many antioxidants, natural compounds that neutralize free radicals and supply generous amounts of natural fiber. Fiber has two great benefits. It is essential to health and also fills you up. If you have heart disease or if you never want to develop it, it is critical to grasp these absolute rules. The rules, part one. Well, one, do not eat meat. Do not eat chicken, even white chicken. Do not eat fish. Four, do not eat any dairy products. That means no skim milk, no non-fat yogurt, no sherbet, and no cheese at all. Five, do not eat eggs. That includes egg whites and even egg substitute st substitutes that contain egg whites. Six, do not use any oil at all, not even virgin olive oil or canola oil. Seven, use only whole grain products. That means no white flour products. Be sure the list of ingredients uses a phrase like whole wheat or whole grain. Avoid semolina and wheat flour, which are actually white. Use brown rice. Eight, do not drink fruit juice. It is fine to eat fruit or to use small amounts of fruit juice in recipes or to flavor beverages. Nine, do not eat any nuts. Although if you have no heart disease, you can occasionally have walnuts. 10, do not eat avocados, that includes guacamole. 11, do not eat coconut. 12, eat soy products cautiously. Many are highly processed and high in fat. Use light tofu, avoid soy cheese, which almost always contains oil and casein. 13, read the China study by T. Colin Campbell with Thomas M. Campbell. It's a great, great book. Keep these rules in mind. The rest of the world of vegetables, legumes, and fruits is yours to enjoy, and it's a very rich world, as you will learn. A few words about salt. We do not use it, and we do not include it in our recipes. Since most of my husband's patients have cardiovascular disease and hypertension, and salt may cause further injury, we have found that most patients readily adjust to the natural flavor of plant-based diet without salt. If you miss salt, try vinegar, lemon, pepper, Mrs. Dash in a variety of blends, Tabasco or other hot sauces. If you still miss salt, try adding a little Bragg liquid aminos available in health food stores. South River sweet white miso or low sodium tamari. Try to limit sodium consumption to less than 2,000 milligrams a day. Your choices are easier when you know the salt content of um, various seasonings. Some useful comparisons. Sea salt, one taste, tablespoon has 2,360 milligrams of sodium. Low sodium tamari, one teaspoon has 700 milligrams of sodium. Bragg's liquid aminos, one teaspoon, teaspoon 233 milligrams of sodium. South River Sweet White Miso, one teaspoon, 115 milligrams of sodium. It is helpful to keep breakfast and lunch simple and nearly the same every day. 
Specific recipes follow in the chapters ahead, but there are lots of useful ways to think about putting them together. For example, great basics for breakfast include cereals such as old fashioned rolled oats, a brand of shredded wheat with no added sugar, or a product such as Greenfield's Raisin Bran. You could top the cereal with grape nuts for crunch. You might also add raisins, a banana, or other fruit. A bit of apple juice, cider, or fresh orange or grapefruit juice include the fruit sections is delicious in place of milk. But you can also eat your cereal with milk, oat milk, almond milk, or non-fat soy milk. And cereals are far from the only breakfast option. Pancakes made from whole wheat flour contain no eggs and no oil are really good. Toasted whole grain bread topped with summer ripe fresh pizzas, peaches heads my own list of outrageously delicious breakfasts. You should also try sliced bananas, ripe mangoes, strawberries, or other favorite fruits on toast. Think outside the box. Why not breakfast on lentil or pea soup or my favorite, favorite leftover salad? Start as many meals as possible with salads. They're healthy and filling and satisfying in a wonderful way. Add the vegetable, add all the vegetables you can. Salad dressing can be a bit difficult first now that you are eating no oils at all. Let me jump in there. Whole Foods has unbelievable no oil, no fat salad dressing. It's all natural, it's organic, and you'll find it in the produce area. Check it out, it's delicious. It is important to find one that you like, so spend some time experimenting. We have come to like salad Salads dressed simply with a combination of balsamic vinegar and hummus that does not contain tahini, which is high in fat. We found two good commercial varieties of fat-free hummus, one from Sahara Cuisine and the other by Oasis Mediterranean Cuisine. See the appendix one. Or you can make your own using chickpeas, lemon, and garlic. Mix with a bit of lemon or lime juice or vinegar and a little mustard. It makes a marvelous dressing. Try to keep lunch simple, salad, soup, bread, or sandwiches. For the last, think creative, creatively. Food for Life makes a widely available, no-fat wrap under the brand name Ezekiel 4-9. And you could spread it with no-fat hummus. Fill the hummus spread wrap with any combination of ingredients that appeals to you. Chop cilantro, green onions, shredded carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, thawed, thawed frozen corn, beans, rice, Cooked broccoli, mushrooms, spinach, or lettuce. Roll it up into a sausage-like shape, cut it in half, put it on a baking sheet, and bake at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes until the wrap is crisp. Fabulous. At dinner, we highly recommend another healthy salad and a variety of fresh vegetables when they are in season. But there are many other options. Portobello mushrooms bake in the oven or on the grill with any barbecue sauce, a low sodium tamari, and a little balsamic vinegar are wonderful and look and look like a piece of meat. They are great as burgers too, on whole wheat bread or in buns made by Ezekiel. Our own first and favorite dinner recipe is black beans and rice. We use it for guests. Since it is beautiful to look at and almost everyone likes it, the ingredients, black beans from a can, brown rice, chopped tomatoes, and their juice. Chopped onions, frozen corn, thawed in hot water, chopped yellow, red, yellow, or green peppers, grated carrots, water chestnuts, chopped cilantro and arugula, low sodium tamari and salsa. Cook the rice, heat the beans, put all the chopped veg vegetables into individual dishes, spoon rice on spoon rice onto your plate, pile it high with your selection of ingredients and top with tamari and or salsa. Store any leftovers in a bowl and use them for salad the next day, adding balsamic vinegar. Heaven. Sometimes the simplest foods taste the best. You can bake Vidalia onions covered on low heat. The longer they bake, the sweeter they become. Eat them plain or on rice or baked potatoes. Sweet potatoes and jams, yams are delicious and filling and incredibly easy. All you have to do is remember to put them in the oven nearly enough since they take at least an hour to bake. Another meal that's delicious, simple, and fast, even pretty, is whole wheat couscous with Moore's Glen's portobello mushroom pasta sauce and frozen peas. Add the couscous to boiling water and watch while it transforms itself in seconds. Heat the pasta sauce and pour it over the couscous. 
Thaw the peas under running water and spoon them decoratively around the, the sauced couscous. Instant dinner. Much of the food you eat on this nutrition plan will be fresh vegetables, fruits, legumes, and whole grains. But there are also packaged products that can add flavor and a variety to your cuisine. Many of them are safe and delicious. However, closely examine the labels. More specifically, read the ingredients. If you see any of the following words or phrases on a label, glycerin, hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated, mono, or diglycerides, avoid the product. These are all sneaky forms of fat. Snackwell's Devil Foods fat-free cookies list zero grams of fat on the nutritional chart required on all packages. But if you read the ingredients, you notice that gly gly glycerin is listed fifth among them. Similarly, Kraft's Zesty Italian Fat-Free Dressing and Wishbone's Fat-Free Ranch both list soybean oil and dairy products among the ingredients. But because the portion sizes are small, these products can still be called fat-free under the government standard less than 0.5% fat-free serving. A company called Edward & Sons makes fat-free brown rice snaps in a variety of flavors, onion, garlic, tamari, sesame, and unsalted with no oil. But beware, the same company makes toasted onions and vegetable rice snaps with safflower oil added. Read the ingredients. If you think you are familiar with the product, be careful not to get complacent. Grape nuts, for instance, are free of oil. So grape nut flakes probably are as well, right? Wrong. They contain vegetable oil. Avoid them. Guiltless Gourmet makes baked, unsalted yellow corn chips that have no oil, but all the rest of the Guiltless Gourmet baked chips have safflower oil added. Read the ingredients. When it comes to grains, you should eat only whole grain products. There are many familiar whole grains. Whole wheat, bulgur wheat, whole oats, whole rye, barley, buckwheat, whole corn, wild rice, brown rice. There are also less well-known choices, kamut, quinoa, amaranth, millet, spelt, teff, grano, farro. But if it is often difficult to figure out which grains are whole and which are not, color is not a clue. Whole oats are light in color, for instance, and refined flours can be darkened with molasses. Here again, examine labels closely. Look for 100% whole products described as multi-grain, cracked wheat, seven grain, stone ground. 100% wheat and rich flour or degerminated cornmeal are not whole grain. Pumpernickel is made with rye and wheat flours, but is seldom whole grain. It can also be a challenge to find whole grain bread that contains no oil or high fructose corn syrup. Great Harvest Bakery makes a number of breads that are perfect, and many grocery store store and many grocery store rye breads have no oil. Ezekiel bread, sprouted grain breads are in the frozen food section of most health food stores and an increasingly number of regular supermarkets and they come in many forms from sliced, sliced loaves, especially good toasted to tortillas and delicious hamburgers or hot dog buns. Read the ingredients. There are three cooking implements that we have found indispensable. One is a rice cooker. You put in rice and water and simply walk away. The rice cooks on its own, worry-free, and you can even start it early. The second is a microplane, which you can find at any good kitchen store. It makes the work of zesting fruit not only easy, but fun. And here's a tip on zesting. Use organic oranges, limes, and lemons. The third is a citrus reamer, which gets juice out of the driest lemons and limes. The wood ones are my favorite. Finally, a few words about how much you should eat. If you're eating a plant-based, no oil, whole grain diet filled with leafy greens and all of the colorful vegetables, you don't need to worry about weight. No calculations or calorie containing will be necessary. Almost everyone loses weight with the diet change. However, if you let whole grains, starchy vegetables, and desserts dominate, weight can begin to creep back. If that happens, simply cut back on grains and starches, increase your consumption of leafy greens and colorful vegetables, and cut out desserts. And remember, exercise does count. The more you can do, the better. For years, I taught and managed to run, often in the dark and in winter, and to lift weights, usually before school. Now I luxuriate in having one time for yoga classes, running or cross-country skiing, and some weightlifting. 
Essie swims a mile a day, lifts weights, and bikes three times a week. Walking, taking stairs, and just moving will make a difference. It benefits the immune system, helps protect against strokes and heart attacks, osteoporosis and dementia, inhibits cancer growth, and of course, keeps your weight down. The basic message is simple. And welcome to so many who have battled weight all their lives. When you eat a plant-based, no oil, whole grain diet, your body will find its own ideal weight. You will never have a weight problem again. Let your appetite be your guide. So that is the final chapter for the instructional part. Now the rest of chapter 16, let's see how many chapters are in here. The rest are, so chapter 16 on, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. These are all chapters, uh, uh, the rest of these chapters are about making food. And they have some really good, they have a great chapter here about desserts, because we all like desserts, don't we? So they have uh, banana ice cream, chocolate sauce, uh, skewered fruit with lime sauce, sliced strawberries and balsamic vinegar or lemon, summer fruit with lime and mint, stunning grilled pineapple, grapefruit, orange slices and mint lime. These are all different recipes. Fruit with ginger, ginger roasted pears with maple crunch, peaches baked in lemon and ginger, chocolate mousse, hmm, blueberry purple passion, pineapple paradise, lemon pie parfait, lemon whipped topping, birthday cake, carrot cookie cake, pineapple frosting, chocolate red devil cake, creamy fudge frosting, luscious lemon cake, frozen lemon sorbet cups, raspberry sorbet with strawberry sauce, grape nuts pie crust, berry pie filling, uh, blueberry cobbler, mixed berry cobbler, chewy gingerbread uh, cookies, those are yummy, and oatmeal maple cookies. So there's so much to eat, just try it, give it a shot, and I promise you, you are gonna feel so much better. So uh, listen, it's your life, you make the decision, but if you get up every morning and you're feeling sluggish and you feel like crap, think about it, really think about it. And if you know people in your life that are suffering from illness, heart disease, everyone does. If you're watching this video and you're listening to me speak, I know that you can think in your head right now at least one person who's suffering from heart disease, who's got tons of medication that they have to take every single day. In six months, the majority of that medication could be gone. That's how amazing this is. They could lose weight, they could feel so much better. So give it a shot, give it a shot. Thank you for tuning in. Follow me here if you enjoy my videos. You could also follow me at Instagram, Snapchat, uh, where else, Facebook, and my website is plantbasedmafia.com and on all the different social media sites, it's Plant Based Mafia. Thank you very much for tuning in and peace. Are you going to be a lion or a sheep? The king of the jungle or another insignificant number in the herd? A leader or a follower?